All right, so here we have example two. Um, in example two, we're going to find the direction of the parabola, and then we're also going to find the vertex, just like we did before. So the new thing here is finding the direction. Um, the first example that we did, we just assumed it was a parabola opening up. We didn't really talk too much about direction. But now that we talked about the different, um, the different categories of equations or parabolas in focal form, we know that they can open up one of four directions. We can go up, we can go down, left, or we can go right. So what we need to look for when we're looking at the equation for a parabola is um, what variable is being squared. So if we take a look at this first one here, you'll notice that we have the y piece and then we have the x piece. And in this example, the y part is being squared. So this is like a y squared parabola. Now most of the time, the parabolas that we've seen before have an x squared in them and they go up or down. In this case, if the y is squared, this is like a sideways parabola. This is going to open up either left or right. So those are our two options. Either it opens left or right. And the reason for that, again, is because the y variable is being squared, not the x. Okay, the next thing we have to look for is negatives, negative multipliers. So we have a negative number out here in front of this piece, which means that this is going to go in the negative direction. But since we're talking about horizontal, the negative direction is left. So we're going to go with this guy. This one actually is going to open up in the left direction. Right? We know it's either left or right because the y is squared. We know it has to be left because of that negative multiplier that's going to kind of reflect it. Okay, we also want to be able to find the vertex. Okay? Now this can be a little tricky if the y is on the left-hand side. Um, it's not too bad. You just got to be careful. So this right here, this minus 3, this is the k part. This is the... the uh, y coordinate of your vertex. So what we want to do is say since we're looking at y here, we want to have a positive 3 in the y spot of our vertex. And then here's the x coordinate here, or excuse me, here's the, uh, the x piece of our, our, uh, our parabola. The h that's going to come from this chunk is a negative 2, the opposite of that. So just make sure that you put the y, the, excuse me, you put the x coordinate of the vertex coming from the x piece of the, of the equation. And you put the y coordinate of the vertex coming from the y piece of the vertex. Um, so don't put the positive 3 on the left-hand side because it's on the left. It doesn't work. It's still the y position. Okay. Um, in this next one here, again, we're going to start with direction. And we have to look for the squared variable. So here's the x piece. Here's the y piece. Here's our, our 4p part, the, the focal width. Um, notice the x is being squared here, so this is either going to open up or down. It's just our regular x squared parabola. Would these go up or down if x is squared? Now, since there's not a, a negative multiplier here, um, we're gonna, we're, it's going to be the positive version. It's going to be the up version. You could also have a negative multiplier over here, but typically you're going to see it on this side. So this one's going to be up, right? It's x squared, which means it's up or down. It's positive, so that's going to be up. Um, then we want to find the uh, vertex as well. So the number inside with x is a plus 1. We're going to put a minus 1 here. The number inside here with y is a negative 3. We're going to put a positive 3 here. Um, and recall that we talked a long time ago about the reason why those are the opposite. And it kind of has to do with um, the horizontal and vertical shifts. So this is kind of like a, a vertical shift and a horizontal shift. And they're, they're kind of opposite of what you expect it to be. Um, but in our original focal form equation, remember that we had x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. So there's, there's already like a minus h and a minus k, and the vertex is just a regular h and k. So that's kind of how, that's why they, they need to shift signs here. Um, so if this is positive, again, negative 1 goes here. If this is negative 3, a positive 3 goes here. Okay, over here on this side, again, we'd have another x squared. So our two options when we have an x squared parabola is it's up or down. We just got to look for a negative multiplier. Notice we're getting multiplied on the, on the right-hand side here by a negative 16, which means that this guy's going to go down. Okay. Um, then we got to find the vertex. So opposite of the x, opposite of the number inside with x is a positive 5. Right, there's a negative 5 in there, or minus 5. We don't want a positive 5 here. And then since this is a y minus 3, we want a positive 3 here. So there's our vertex. Okay, last one here. We got a y squared parabola. Okay, when we have a y squared, that immediately tells us it's sideways. 
from what we're used to. So it's either going to go left or right. Um, since we don't have a negative multiplier, this has to be the positive version, so it's going to go to the right. Okay, for the vertex, we want the number inside with x. Now, notice on all these other examples, we had a number inside parentheses with x, but in this one we don't, but we can kind of force it to have a minus zero, right? 8 times x is the same thing as 8 times x minus zero. So, you might be tempted to put a negative 8 in there, but we're actually looking for a number that's subtracted or added to x, not multiplied. So really, we want a zero in there. And then for the y, we want the opposite of that guy. So since that's not a minus one or a subtract one, we want a positive one here. Okay. We're going to use this to build on. We, this is a kind of a foundation. We've got to be able to identify a direction, identify a vertex, and then from there, we can start graphing these parabolas and finding the focus and finding the directrix and things like that. But this is kind of the the baseline. We've got to figure out which direction we're talking about and where the vertex is.